Hello, and thank you for joining us today as we talk about dining services here at Southwest Minnesota State University. My name is Don Stanwick, and I am the Director of Dining here on campus. Today, we're going to talk to you a lot about what we do here in dining, what we offer, and how our meal plans work. We're excited to have you joining us this fall as you start your college career here in August in Marshall, Minnesota at Southwest Minnesota State. So let's get started. Let's start with meal plans. So with meal plans, we have several meal plans that are available for students who live on campus, as well as numerous meal plans for students who live off campus as well. On campus meal plans focus on three of them. There are the 10 meal, 14 meal, and 19 meal. Each of these are number of meal swipes per week that you get in the dining hall. Our dining hall is an all you care to eat facility, so one swipe means you get to come in, sit down, and you can eat for two hours if you want, or three hours, or for 10 minutes, however you wanna do it. You can get food to go, uh, how you want to do it, how you want to work it is up to you. Uh, eat as much as you want while you're in, and each swipe gets you in um, and gets you as much as you want to eat. So the way the meal plans work is you get X number of meals, whether it's 10, 14, or 19 each week. Uh, they reset every Saturday morning. So Saturday morning you start off with however many meals you have, and you have until Friday night to use them all up. If you, once you use them all up, they will reset every Saturday morning. If you don't use all of your meals that week, they will still reset. You will not maintain the extra meals. Each of our meal plans come with dining dollars. Dining dollars are, for lack of a better word, cash that can be used in the dining locations on campus only. So you can use dining dollars at our coffee shop, our sub shop, C store, or even if you're enjoying a sporting event at concessions. Our most popular meal plan is probably the 14 meal plan or the 10 meal plan. Both of them are pretty equal and they are generally favored because they come with most dining dollars. People like to have the dining dollars to offset their meals so they can get coffee or frappuccinos or get a little bit of stuff to take back to their dorms uh, to basically supplement their meal plan. Now, the one key with this with meal plans is to understand that you have the first 10 days until drop ad to change your meal plan. So if you start off your meal plan with 14 meals and you realize that you're only using 10 meals a week, you may wanna change that down. Or if you start with 19 and you go, oh, I'm going home every week or I'm not waking up to eat breakfast every day, I don't need this many meals, you can change that. And vice versa, if you start with 10 and you realize, oh, I wanna eat three times a day, let me move up to the 14 meal plan or to the 19 meal plan. So it's really tailored for you to understand what your eating habits are and then go forward with that and choose a meal plan that best fits those eating habits. So again, you have until the drop ad day, which is about 10 days into the semester to make any changes to your meal plans. So let's take a look at our residential dining. Or sorry, this is our dining dollars, jumping ahead a little bit. Uh, dining dollars, uh, as we just talked a little bit about it, is cash associated with your meal plan uh, loaded right on your Mustang ID. They are different from Mustang money. Mustang money is cash that you put on your ID card and that you can use anywhere, including the bookstore or other spaces on campus. The dining dollars, as mentioned before, can only be used at food service locations on campus and are part of your meal plan. Uh, the unused dining dollars, so if you have 100 dining dollars left in December, those will carry over to the spring semester. However, at the end of the spring semester, they do not carry over to next fall. So you do have to use them up by the time commencement comes around in May. Uh, a lot of times to help people with this, we offer bulk orders, and people like to stop, stock up on cases of water or chips or beverages. Uh, to take back with them. This way they can use up all their dining dollars and not lose any of it because uh, it is part of your meal plan. So now let's jump into our residential dining over at our food hall. As I said before, this is all you care to eat. You'll see Chef Randy Hansen making a stir fry at our bok choy station in the video behind. Uh, this is probably our most popular station and a lot of our stations are all set up to be make to order. You come up, you tell us what you want, and we make it for you. Uh, from Morning Drive, where we make omelets and eggs, along with other breakfast items, and we do breakfast all day, uh, including Belgian waffles. Um, we have our home-style station, where we'll smoke meats and do carved meats, as well as 
your traditional chicken parmesan, meatloaf, uh, smoked salmon, uh, brisket, et cetera, et cetera, you know, your traditional type items. Uh, 500 Degrees is our pizza station where we'll make a mini pizza, top it the way you would like it, and then run that through for you. And also this fall semester, we are going to be making salads out of that station as well. So you'll be able to get a salad custom made to your specifications as well. Innovate is a station that we do a lot of different things from running um, taco bars or wing bars or potato bars or different kinds of items that do themed events there. Uh, we'll be focused a lot on desserts there this fall, uh, including making milkshakes during lunch and dinner uh, as part of your meal plan there as well. Flame is our grill. We offer, every day we offer chicken sandwiches, um, burgers, hot dogs, veggie burgers, black bean burgers, and then we also have a daily special such as chicken tender, or spicy chicken sandwiches, quesadillas, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Uh, the list just goes on in terms of that. So you can typically always find something uh, to get there at Flame. Our pantry is basically our bread and cereal section. We have a variety of different cereals as well as different breads and bagels for you to top with your choice of toppings and just complement your breakfast that way. Uh, again, with the food hall, it is all you care to eat. And it is open 7.30 every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, and it closes at 7.30, Monday through Thursday, and at 7 o'clock on Fridays. And then on the weekends, it's open from 11 to 6. Um, again, it's all you care to eat whenever you come in to the dining hall. Moving on to some of our retail operations, we have State Street Subs, which is our sub shop. We offer six inch and foot long subs, wraps, salads, along with a variety of daily specials from our chicken bowl to our uh, pizza to wings to pasta and even to an ultimate nacho. Uh, you can find that at our State Street Subs location. And this fall, uh, we will be starting online ordering where you can order ahead and then come and pay for it and pick it up right at the counter and skip the line. Our C-Store is our convenience store, and you can get everything here from water to bottled beverages to Monster Energy drinks to Frito-Lay chips, uh, fresh, food, uh, fresh foods, uh, including salads, sandwiches, uh, fruit cups, parfaits, as well as frozen items, uh, milk, and other groceries that you can take back and use to stock up your dorm room, uh, including international candies and regular candies as well. We are a Coke campus, so we do feature Coke products, and we offer a lot of deals throughout the year in the C-Store on beverages and other items. Our coffee house is, uh, we probably serve Starbucks coffees there, so you can get any of the Frappuccinos, refreshers, you can get um, mochas or pumpkin spices during the fall. We do a special drink of the week every week, and we also have a happy hour every afternoon starting at three o'clock, which gives you a dollar off your regular coffee. Uh, so all of our retail operations take dining dollars, cash or credit cards. You can go there, use that at any time. Uh, it does not take any meal swipes at those operations. Um, and this is where people tend to like the extra dining dollars because they can use those at these locations as well as at concessions. So as we know, the world has been changing with COVID-19. And one of the things that we really want to focus on is safety and our safety commitments to you. As we want to make sure that you feel comfortable coming into the dining hall each and every day, these are some of the things that we are adamant about with our staff to make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect you and serve the healthiest and best tasting food. We're constantly using gloves, washing hands regular. Every time we change tasks, we're changing gloves and washing hands. We conduct daily wellness checks with our associates every single time they enter the building, making sure that nobody's running any kind of fever. We adhere to stringent food safety standards, making sure that food is cooked to the proper temperature, following all state, federal, and local health code guidelines, uh, including health inspections twice a year, as well as going through to make sure that everything is fully received properly, stored properly. Um, we have temperature logs and everything to make sure that everything is cooked properly. We focus on practicing social distancing. You know, as we come in, we're, tables will be spread out in the dining hall to allow for social distancing. We will have the option to order online at State Street Subs and in the dining hall, so you can pick up a meal if you want to practice further social distancing. You know, we will do everything that we can to help keep people at a good social distance uh, and allow people to eat safely. Wearing masks. All of our associates will be wearing masks 
while they're working. And that way they can have that on to protect themselves and to protect you as well. And cleaning and sanitizing and disinfecting all high contact areas every 30 minutes. We'll be going through and doing that with tables, so drink machines, coffee machines, all of those as well to make sure that everything is disinfected, sanitized, and cleaned every 30 minutes uh, as we go throughout the day. And these are just some of our commitments to make sure that we are being as safe as possible as we move into the fall semester. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My information is on the phone, on the screen ahead, email, phone. You have our social media and our website to go and check out some of our menus. If you have any questions, please, again, don't hesitate to ask. We look forward to having you here this fall, and we're excited that you're joining the SMSU family. So enjoy the rest of your orientation, and we will see you in August.